Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to design a character for animation in VR. I make two strokes with the line tool and duplicating them along the pivot that's in between them and that makes a circle that I can use to make a sphere With the grab tool, I'm gonna form it into a basic head. The nose is just a simple stroke. And I'm gonna notch some holes in the head so I can put the eyeballs. With the grab tool, I'm going to nudge the skin around the eye so it can see it better and looks more convincing. With the eraser tool, I'm gonna make a hole for the mouth. For now, I'm just gonna put an outline around it. I'll, I'll come back to it, it's still not so convincing to me yet. So here I raised half of the face to mirror one side over. It's not perfect and some things I had to adjust manually. Here I'm making the inside of the mouth with a flat brush and duplicating a stroke to make it almost like a half a sphere. I don't like the way I drew the mouth, I decided to make it cleaner. So to make it, you gotta make a hole and to make it look smooth and you draw around the border of the hole. Then I put the teeth in and it's starting to look complete. Hair can be done simple. Since the hair is simple and the strokes under the hair, like skull, is very dense, so I just decided to select them and just delete them, because you're never gonna see them. And that's gonna be lighter character to animate. For the neck, just a simple stroke with a line tool. So for the body, the idea is to draw a simple donut shapes. Simple strokes, simple shapes, that's gonna help out during animation. Simple strokes for the arms and legs as well. Once you drew one side, 
just mirror it over to another side. Sometimes it's easier to draw separately, like in this case, um, a shoe, and then just place it back together. Now let's recap. When designing a character for animation, simple strokes, simple shapes would make animation so much easier during selection and moving stuff around. Now I'm trying to build an environment. In this case, it's an office. In part two, we're gonna do some animation of this character, so stay tuned.